So what we're going to do is we're going to use a search and replace regular expression. So we're using the S keyword there. And then we're going to use as our pattern the general anatomy of a hyperlink. Now, right from the off, there are extra complications that we're not going to go into. For instance, hyperlinks could have anything at all between the A and the href. They could have other attributes of the A tag, but we're not going to look at those complications now. We're just going to try and keep this one very clean and simple. So what goes in here? A href followed by a quotation mark and then any text at all. With another quotation mark and then any text at all. And we're using the ungreedy modifiers to stop our quantifiers running away with our text. Then we use an end a tag. And you'll notice there's an extra bit in there, and that's simply the backslash, which is escaping this slash here. Otherwise, Perl would think that we'd come to the end of our pattern earlier than we really have. So what are we going to replace this with? We've found a way of locating the links. Now what are we going to do about them? Well, what we can do is we can put both of these into round brackets. And that'll make these into sub-patterns that we can access in our replacement string. What we're going to end up with is something to include the word on its own without being surrounded by tags. So in this case, if we look over here at the links, we've got W3C is the word. And we also want to find a way of showing the link so that the user can make use of it. Even though they're not within an HTML viewing context, they might want to write it down or copy the text of their web browser or use the link in some other way. So what we're able to do is first of all put in the number two variable and that will show us the second sub-pattern. In this case, just the text here. And then we're going to put in brackets here link. And then we're going to put the first sub-pattern in. So the brackets here are not marking out sub-patterns. There's very little within the replace string that is evaluated in a different way to a normal string. Even if we use the E modifier to say we should be evaluating it as Perl code, we're not evaluating it as a regular expression. So all those brackets in here, this side of the slash, mean are literal brackets. So that's the kind of syntax that we're looking for in our plain text version. Finally, let's do a print function and move over to our command prompt and see how our pattern is looking. Now what it's done here is we've been able to take our pattern and use it to intelligently parse the links and find different elements within them and turn them into a text-only friendly version that we can use pretty much with any piece of HTML. As I mentioned earlier, this is not a flexible enough regular expression to account for all the different ways in which a hyperlink can be marked. Capitalization, extra parts of the tag, and so on and so forth, different kinds of quotes. But what we're doing here is keeping it very simple and showing the basic principle for using replacement function to change the order, to reformat, and to manipulate different elements within a string by using generalized patterns without having to know exactly what we're looking for. That's the critical advantage to using a regular expression. We don't have to know exactly what we're looking for. We can just sketch in the parameters and as long as we've been exact enough about what those parameters are, Perl is able to manipulate our text exactly the way we want it to.